This is question four from the first homework assignment, the concepts. I don't need to do any calculations for this, which is cool. Everything is given to me, but it helps me with understanding. Um, basically, like. Helps me with understanding all of this. <laughs> so the first question for match each each scatter plot and um, shown below with one of the four specified correlations. So they should tell you these are correlation coefficients are and uh, let's go back to yesterday and I'll put all this, this is all I'll just add to the notes from yesterday but when you're talking about the correlation coefficient um, and R is the sample correlation coefficient and, and rho represents the population correlation coefficient the closer to negative one that the correlation coefficient is the stronger the negative linear correlation and obviously if I have a negative linear correlation it's a decreasing type of line it would have a negative slope right because we're talking specifically linear okay I would not be able to to determine my slope and what it is unless I was you know speaking linear kind of scenarios um okay just checking my chat so the closer to positive one the stronger the positive linear correlation and obviously positive correlation would have you know an increasing type of line which would indicate a positive slope and then the closer to zero the correlation coefficient is um the less correlation there is so this is basically going along with that and so this is kind of like testing that knowledge oops turn this thing on so you know um we need to match we're matching so they give us these correlation coefficients and <clears throat> B and C are positive, which means that the only possibility that they could be is probably either ironically B or C, because these both, if you look at it, if I were to like draw a line kind of in the middle of it, you would see there's like a positive increasing type of trend. So I would say that this has a positive correlation. Do you see the dots? The closer they are together, the stronger the correlation so the closer the dots together i would say the higher or the closer to positive one that correlation coefficient would be so right now i'm thinking b for b ironically um that's just a coincidence <laughs> and then this one if i were to draw a line you could see like they look like they're increasing overall if i were to draw a line kind of in the middle somewhere you know you can tell again they, it looks like it's increasing so again i would expect like a positive type of correlation coefficient which the only other option is this one could be here um the only other option is this one but you could see this is less than this right so being that this is not as close to positive one as 0.86 is that means that i would expect less of a strength in terms of the linear correlation and you can see that these dots on the scatter plot are not as close together in a linear pattern as they are here. You see they're closer together. They're kind of like scrunched up a little more in a linear type of pattern versus here. They're kind of like spread a little more, but they're still ish linear. <laughs> not really a word, but still. So I would uh, right now press of elimination. I would go see here. Now this is just um, this is just coincidental that this is B and this is C. OK, now looking at A. I, you know, I look, it looks like they're decreasing, right? And obviously that's not a nice line, but that's, that's the line I got. If I were to draw a line kind of in the middle somewhere, you could see that it's decreasing. So I would expect the line to have a negative slope, um, which being that it's a negative decreasing type of line, I would expect a negative correlation coefficient, which is either A or D. Now, between this and this, if you look at this one, these are kind of like scattered all over the place. This, I would almost say there's not really much linear correlation here, um, but it kind of looks like it's trending down. You know, if I were to like put a line in the middle, it looks like it's trending down. So it looks like it would be negative as well. So between like the first one and the last one, I would say the first one has a stronger linear correlation because the dots are like closer together going down, which means that this R, this correlation coefficient, should be closer to negative one because the more I'm closer to negative one, the stronger the negative correlation I have. And so I would go D here and A here. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so this is just testing, you know, 
understanding what the correlation coefficient is telling you about your situation. And you see, this one is the weakest. 0.35 is the closest to zero out of all of them. So this one would go with the least amount of correlation, which looks like this one. This is the most scattered around, the, the least kind of pattern formed, if that makes sense. Um, and then, you know, go from there. Obviously, these closer to positive and negative ones should have a stronger correlation. And being that this is positive, it should be a stronger increasing kind of correlation. This is negative, so it should be a stronger or closer together decreasing type of situation. And then this one is positive, but not as strong. So, yeah. So I hope that makes sense for number four. That's what this is about. Trying to understand what the correlation coefficient is telling you about the linear correlation between, you know, your paired data, your X and your Y. So again, if I'm expecting a strong linear correlation, the dots should be closer together. If it's weaker, then they're further apart. If it's positive, then I'm expecting increasing kind of pattern. And if it's negative, I'm expecting it decreasing. And if there's less correlation where they're kind of scattered all over and I don't see a particular wonderful pattern involved, it should be closer to zero. So let me know if that makes sense. Actually, I'll separate each of these in separate videos. So let me stop.